to you. I'm Hayley Palmer. Really good to have you here with me on the show this evening. Now, I am so excited tonight because we have Joe Amira from S Club as our special guest. And of course, we're going to kick off with an S Club super classic. Here is Reach for the Stars. Joe, it's great to have you on the show. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm oh, really good, thank you. We are delighted to have you here on At Home with Hayley. And I've got to say, I've been watching your Instagram feeds and I think it's just brilliant that you're singing for the NHS workers and it really is a delight to see. Oh, thank you. It's been so much fun um, singing for the NHS every week with something to keep me going as well as keep them going. So it was a joint effort. Yes, just fabulous. Well, we're going to go into your first song choice, Jo. Uh, Coldplay, Paradise, why this song? I think that Coldplay are such a fantastic band. I love everything about them. And I think that Paradise is just one of the best songs that they've done. So that yeah. is why I chose it. It really is. Well, let's play it out on the show now. And Joe and I will see you after this. Now, Joe, let's rewind uh, to how it all started for you, because a little birdie told me that you were 12 years old and you got up at karaoke to sing The Locomotion and you were just really good because that has never happened to me. <laughs> That's very true. Yes, you've done your research. I did. Um, it was just a little local karaoke bar um, in Essex where I live. And for some reason, I just thought, yeah, I'm going to get up and, and give a little song. And then that was it. I loved it. Um, wow. I liked the attention of the clap and then I got the bug for it and um, I still do wow. it today. A natural talent. I love that. I'm so jealous, Joe. I can't <laughs> sing a note. Trust me, it's really, really bad. And then we're going to go into your next song choice. Mm -hmm. uh, Billie Jean, yes. MJ, absolute timeless classic. Why yes. have you picked this for us tonight, Joe? Michael ja I think everybody knows that Michael Jackson is my all-time hero. Um, I absolutely adored him. And I think that Billie Jean was so clever. And obviously, it's where the moonwalk was born. So it Ooh. has to be. Shamal. Yes. OK, well, we're going to play it out on the show now. It's number one in 1983. We'll see you after. Now, Joe, let's talk about the success of S Club 7. I mean, you have four number ones, nine top 10 hits, a TV series and a movie. Did you ever think in a million years it would be that massive? No, I, do not, I don't think any of us did. Um, we literally flew out to Miami to film the TV show. And by the time we came home, it's like everybody knew who it was. It was the most bizarre situation because... None of us expected it, and we was all so young, and we just thought we were going over there to do a little project thing, and it ended up being so, so much more, which was brilliant. Yeah, it really was brilliant. I mean, I think I know every dance routine to this next song that we're playing now. Uh, Don't Stop Moving at number one in 2001. Here we go, and uh, Joe and I will see you after this. <laughs> Jo, we've got a question from one of our viewers, Maisie. She wants to know, what has been the ultimate highlight for you? I mean, I know that's pretty hard to rewind and think, but is there something that really sticks out for you? Do you know what? I think I think we've had a lot of highlights, but one of the biggest was definitely playing um, at the Golden Jubilee for the Queen um, and getting wow. to be on stage with like Phil Collins and Brian May. It was just absolutely incredible. Wow, what memories. Just fabulous. Well, we're going to go into your next song choice, Dexy Mid Midnight Runners, yeah. even. Uh, come on, yeah. Eileen, why this song? It's my happy song. Um, everyone knows me if I'm at a party or even in the car, wherever. If this song comes on, I, my feet just start tapping. I, it's like I can't help it. <laughs> I think it's just a really fun song and it always puts me in a really yeah. good mood. Yeah, brilliant. Well, Joe's going to be dancing yes. in her living room. I'm going to be dancing <laughs> here in the studio. We want everyone on their feet at home. Come on, Eileen. Let's go. <laughs> now, Joe, we've got a quick fire question round for you here on the show. First question What is the first song that you ever purchased? I should be so lucky, Kylie Minogue. Oh, love that. Mine was Jason Donovan, Too Many Broken Hearts. <laughs> that was our era, wasn't it? It was. Good times from our price. Love it. Uh, first gig you went to? 
Um, the History Concert, Michael Jackson. Oh, wow. Incredible. Uh, what is your karaoke song? Oh, uh, maybe One Moment in Time, Whitney Houston. Oh, oh, I bet you are phenomenal singing that one. Not going to karaoke with you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, driving song, what is that song that you just put on going down the motorway? Uh, probably Dakota Stereophonics. Really love it. Uh, well, your next song choice, uh, The Carpenters Superstar. Yeah. This is just such a beautiful song, isn't it? It is. Um, for me, one of the most iconic voices and... Probably my female hero, Michael Jackson was my male. This is definitely my female. I absolutely adore her. Yeah, we adore her here on the show as well. Uh, here it is, uh, The Carpenters with Superstar. Now, Jo, your next a song choice, uh, Oasis, Champagne Supernova. Tune, why yeah. this one? I know, it's such a good song, isn't it? Um, I thought Oasis were fantastic. Um, I'd like to see them do a comeback and do another tour maybe i'd definitely be there but i think champagne supernova is probably my favorite one yeah it's a classic tune here we go and uh, we'll see you in just a couple of minutes oh uh, joe your next song choice uh vincent by don mclean another yeah. stunning song that you've uh, chosen here for us it's exactly what it is it's just an absolutely beautiful song and i just love good songwriting and I yeah. think this song was so beautifully written and beautifully performed so I wanted yeah. maybe people that may have never heard of it before to hear it yeah yeah just beautiful we're going to play that out for everyone now um but I want to talk about your new album because this is just really exciting uh, we're all rooting for you Joe. um I know it's going to be out sort of 2021 isn't it it's going to be out, yeah, early part of next year. It was meant to be out um, this year, but obviously because of everything with COVID, yeah. it kind of delayed um, everything. So yeah. we've put it back and it's now going to be very early part of next year, which I'm so, so excited about. Yeah, we definitely. Well, you have the most phenomenal voice. Like I said, we are all rooting for you here on the show. Do keep us posted um, about your album. And I uh, we will. Keep everyone Thank born. you so much. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's Joe Mir, everyone. Oh, we've now come to the end of the show, but a huge thank you to the lovely Joe Amira for being a fantastic guest on this week's show and just loads of memories that were brought back by those S Club tunes. And a huge thank you to you at home for supporting the show every week. It really is appreciated. Thank you. And if you haven't got in contact, why not? Do so. Details are on the screen below. Now, this last song I want to dedicate to Chris Hopkins. I know this is your favourite S Club tune. Me too. We're going to leave you with Never Had a Dream Come True.